Thank you for visiting Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Quick Loader software on Windows 10 and the USB drivers. First step is to go to Napco Security, go to Security Professional Login, type in your password and your user code. And then you go to Software Downloads, Napco. Then you go to Quick Loader for Windows, version 6.36. Click on Download. Go ahead and open. Then you're going to double click on the Quick Loader file folder. And you're going to then click on the QLWREL application file. Extract all or run. Just click on run. If you get this message, just go to more info and run anyway. And then start the installation process by pressing next and accept the license agreement. This is how it's going to set it up. Just let it run its course. You can put your name in and the company name. And if you wanted to change the directory, you can go ahead and change it. But I, I would say just leave it and let it go to its own directory. And then next. Napco Security Group is going to create that file folder. Keep on hitting next. And then finish. Then what you would do is close this window screen down, go back to software downloads, Napco, and then you want to go to page two. Then go and scroll down till you see USB drivers for the Napco USB RS232. Double click on that, click on download and then click on open then you're going to come up with a cmd20814 setup file double click on that and then you should see this screen and then just close the file log out Now you log into your Quick Loader. First time you log in, it's going to be master for your login. And then your password could be whatever you want it to be. Just remember what it is. You're going to retype your, mat your password. And it's going to show you the following communication parameters are not defined. So this is where you have to go and you have to set up your modem port. 
So you just click on yes. Okay, and it's going to come up with your modem port and your PCI. If you're using the computer to dial out on a telephone line as well as locally, then you would have to address both of these. If not, then you would just have to address the PCI mini. And then you would just select whether a COM port. Normally, what will happen is it will just have one COM port when you have your USB plugged in from your computer, and you just click on that and then hit OK and then close. And that's it for the setup.